Innovation in Home Entertainment Projectors. Welcome back to Text Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Our guest is Andres Gomez, Senior Go-To-Market Director at XGMI. X-G-I-M-I. Thanks for taking the time, Andres. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having me. Well, let's start with a little bit of background to begin with about XGMI. It's, it's been making a pretty big splash, I think, in the, in the home projector market. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so so we were we started in 2013 uh, with the idea of developing um, consumer projectors, so projectors that were think for home users from the very beginning. Um, then we, uh, having that in mind, uh, we started introducing a lot of technology and partnering with with many of the uh, best user interfaces companies like Google, uh, Android TV. Uh, putting very premium speakers into our projectors like Harman Kardon. So um, all of these combined with some very easy to use setup technologies that we have developed through the years uh, have making us uh, one of the most competitive consumer projectors uh, in the market right now. You've announced uh, a new product called the Aura, which is a, a 4K ultra short throw laser projector. Describe for us what all that means for consumers. That's right. So uh, this is uh, our newest product uh, in the XGMI lineup. Um, what it is, is, is an ultra short throw projector, as you mentioned, 4K with laser technology. So um, what it does is solve this problem for many people that uh, they don't want to have to put a projector way back, uh, just to the back of the room, just to watch something. So this gives uh, the users a more TV-like experience. Um, giving you a much larger uh, screen size. So uh, the, the aura can go up to 150 inches and you, and you just put it uh, about 15 to 16 inches uh, from the wall. So that's, that gives you, um, as I mentioned, a very TV-like experience. You don't, you don't have to use it as a regular projector where, where you need a lot of space way back of the room. Um, you need a much darker room with these projectors when you combine it with a ALR screen, light rejection screens. Um, they can use pretty much um, any time of the day in, in any room that, that you need. Very interesting. So it could be used during the daytime in a, in a room that doesn't have shades drawn, et cetera? That's right. That's right. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, developed, I think, um, as a TV replacement. Um, and the price per inch that you get uh, with, uh, with a 4K short throw projector, ultra short throw projector is much better than, um, is, is much cheaper than, than what you will have to do in a TV, like in a 4K TV of 120 inches. It will cost you, it, it could cost you thousands of dollars when uh, our projector, the Aura, it's about uh, 2,500 bucks. So um, it's a pretty good price for um, per inch. Tell us what's going on in the projector space today. I think probably the pandemic has had an impact on what you do, probably good and bad, right? Yeah, of course. So the, in general, people are looking for, for better ways to um, uh, just have a nice entertainment space at home. Um, and projectors bring a lot of this uh, to life very easy. So you have a lot of uh, the streaming service and the production companies releasing movies to a streaming first, or at the same time, they are doing uh, movie releases on theaters they are doing in, on a streaming service, as we have seen with Disney+. Plus. So having your personal home theater at home without having to spend a lot of money for it or without having to get complicated setups are things that are are things that people are looking forward, uh, consumer are looking forward for for um, projector manufacturers to do, so that you could get a projector set up in in, in any space that you have in your home already. Um, now that people are spending much more time at home, um, it's something that that we we've seen as a trend, uh, a, partly a, thanks to COVID and people moving maybe out of the cities to suburban areas that they can get uh, maybe nicer, larger spaces to work on. At the same time, have you been hurt with supply chain issues the way most people have? Yeah, so, so as a background, we are, we are uh, pretty big in China already. We are the number one player in projector in China with uh, over 25% of market share. So for us at that volume, 
Uh, it's been challenging, of course, because um, if we talk about, for example, DLP chipsets, um, LED chipsets, all these kind of um, uh, microchips um, and semiconductors that go into building the, the projector, they are uh, mostly built by a few companies worldwide. So the, it's been challenging, of course, because of the size that we have already in the market. So tell us, uh, when it comes to the competitive market space, and obviously it is very competitive, some big names in consumer electronics and in TVs and whatnot also have projectors on the market and, and, and other players too. What advantages do you feel you have? What sets XGME apart? Yeah, the, what set us apart is that we are focused only on consumer projectors, so home projectors. So uh, for most of the technology that goes into projectors at this level of at this pricing, it's mostly uh, maybe office projectors that they've been transforming some way to, to feed the home. Uh, so for us, we, we've developed um, a technology for ease of use. So uh, to give you an example, we have something that's called ISA. So uh, intelligent screen adaptation technology. What it does is that no matter where you put the projector, um, the auto keystone correction uh, and the sensor in front of the projector will, will find a, a way to place a perfect ratio, aspect ratio a, a screen in front of you. So that's, that's one of the things we've done. The other thing we've done is, for example, if you have a, a screen, a projection screen, um, and you get the screen uh, set up in your home, uh, they, our projectors, they will automatically fill in that screen that you set up in your home. So you don't have to manually do almost anything to get our projector set up. So what we are trying to do is get that idea that projectors are kind of complicated, um, overly big, not a uh, well designed um, out of the way of the of the consumer's mind and and just um, introduce products that are much more a consumer electronic product that's something that you can have at home that you can enjoy the way that TVs today are designed or the way that you uh, will use an an, an, uh, an iPad so uh, or a sonos um, um, a speaker. So we have tried to do this, uh, including, for example, Google Android TV, so that you don't have to learn to use a new user interface. So it's something that, that most people are already used to uh, use that are smart TVs. So we build in these uh, features inside our projectors so that we can get what we call the consumer projector um, category, lead this category out of the traditional projector market. So real ease of setup is a, is a key differentiator here for for the home consumer. So That's tell right. us, a, you have a, you have a number of models on the market besides the the Aura, which is your newest, I guess, flagship. Yeah. So tell us where pricing starts for this, and and typically what the investment is like, because people would also want to invest maybe in a screen, maybe even though you have speakers included in these, they might want to invest in a, a good sound system if they want a true theater experience. That's right. That's right. So I will walk. I will walk you um, a little bit uh, through our lineup. Uh, so to start, we have the um, we have three different segments, right? The first one will be the portable projectors. So these are built-in battery projectors. Then we have a segment that we call the home projection, that is uh, long throw projectors that they give much um, a better brightness and uh, bigger screens. And then we have the ultra short throw. Um, part of the of our lineup. So, starting with the portable projectors, uh, prices start at four ninety nine, um, and it's with the Mogo, uh, the Mogo Pro um, portable projector. It's a built-in battery projector, about two hours of playing time, uh, with three hundred and lumens of of brightness. Uh, these are more projectors for the um, casual user that maybe wants to use. Um, once in a while the projector uh, don't want don't want to plug it all the time so you have the battery you have that flexibility uh, with you we have a few of the mogos we have three three mogos in in our lineup um, then we move into a, a product that's called the halo so halo is a product uh, this is the most powerful port portable projector that exists right now in the market um, this is an 800 ansi lumen 
portable projector built in battery. So um, this projector gives you enough brightness that you can screen something like 120 inches. Um, you can project 120 inches, um, still having some, some daylight, right? Um, and then out of the portal category, we get into home projectors where, where we have one of the best seller uh, 4K projectors in the market right now. So these are the Horizon lineup. So um, uh, we have a Horizon Full HD and a Horizon Pro, which is the 4K. Uh, this is a 2,200 ounce Lumi projector with Hammer Cardon, um, uh, Android TV. So all the works that we have in our projectors uh, with 4K resolution. So this being our best seller for, for, for this year, uh, we launched it uh, back in May. And it's been a total success uh, all around the um, um, different markets in USA and Europe. Um, and as you mentioned just now, the, um, the Aura projector in the UST. So that's, that's our whole lineup. So it started at 499, moves to 799 uh, to, for the Halo, 1,700 for the Xtreme Horizon Pro, and then 2,500 for the Xtreme Aura. And then is that available now or when, when is the Aura shipping? Yes, uh, Aura is already available uh, either uh, via our website or Amazon in the United States. So it's, it's pretty much ready to ship. And do you see the, the market continuing to grow? I assume you do since that is your business. Yes, yes. So, so apart from like, we, we've seen a, a huge growth uh, last year for, for our brand. Um, the projector category as a whole, uh, it's stagnant at the moment, but this, but consumer projectors are growing a lot. And you, and you see that in a lot of the uh, competition as well. So um, we've been working on this for more than seven years, but uh, you, you, you can see right now from the last year and a half, two years, that there are some other companies that are trying to get into the consumer projector category as, as well. So the office projector is going down for obvious reasons, uh, mainly because people are not going, most people are not going to offices and having meeting in person, but the consumer category is growing very strong right now. We've seen double digit growth uh, for the past two years. Terrific. For more information, where is the best place for people to go? So xjimmy.com, uh, we have, yeah, all our lineups there, all the information about the brand and the products that we make. And again, it's xgimi.com. Andres right. Gomez, thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you, Fred. Thanks for having me.